Tutorials. Today's video I will just show you how you can render vector display minmap from Mudbox to the Arnon. So there are also a video we have showing how you can export vector display minmap from Mudbox to Maya and render it with the Arnon. And in this one you can just click here to download the file we need. And they have uh, going to the Mudbox and making these things which is everything good. Sometime with the uh, Sometimes you need to have the relative and sometimes you want to have the absolute. So it again depends which things you're working on. But in this case the tangent, uh, the absolute is working fine. And here we have a spear and we want to render it with, uh, with the Arnold. So. so here we have the file. So I just opening uh, Maya and just drag uh, the spear here. As you can see and now we're going to make a basic lighting uh, maybe we use a direct light and one for the other side okay now we have set up basic light we're going to hypy shade I'm going to the Arnold shader and that is Arnold 5 so we have something called AI standard surface shader and that is uh, we don't want to have the specular so we're starting by add the color information which is the diffuse we're getting so very simple go ahead and select the file you want and that is the color then we're going to to this uh, section and press on this and we selecting file and that is important thing when it is the vector the first thing is we need to delete the connection between output alpha and the display minmap and connect output color to vector and then we're going to use the tangent from there we're going to load the file uh, we have get which is this one the vector display main map an important thing is uh, filter type to be off and we need to change it to raw file uh, or raw color space when we have done this we can just apply this on the sphere and show the texture if you want so here you can see uh, we need only one thing to render it correctly. We're going to Arnold inside subdivision and choosing this one as a, as the example uh, here we have the number of these so number two we get this and four and six so we're just going to render it here also so maybe we're starting by number two and see what we get so maybe a sky dome light so it's lighting better here we go so as you can see now we have uh, just zoom it out a bit here we go and just selecting it and go there and we can just put more information as more information I give it as more smooth it will be as you can see now we have completely the shape of the face we have there so that was very quick to, uh, tutorials about how you can render vector display map inside Arnold 5 and thank for watching